on the high seas. That is the position we are in right now. Hmm. So, uh, uh, now that you are in the talking shop to a Dr. Prince, uh, is it the Yoruba agenda that Nigeria should change its name at this point? Because we understand you are now pressing for change of name for Nigeria after 100 years of our coexistence. Well, I must uh, confess that it's not part of the Yoruba agenda. In fact, some delegates uh, were miffed by my suggestion. They wondered why a Yoruba person should suggest a name like Songhai for Nigeria, which has obvious uh, closer affinity to northwest of Nigeria. Uh, it was uh, in the effort to reinvent the country. You see, President Jonathan charged us to suggest novel ideas for remaking and recreating Nigeria. And when it came to my turn, towards the end, nearly everything that I wanted to say had been said. And I did not just want to sound like a broken gramophone record. So I now thought of something different from what we had heard previously. And I remembered uh, what uh, the late uh, parliamentarian, when I was in Form 1 in 1960, but I heard of Dr. Kalu Ezera, who had suggested in 1960 that Nigeria should change to Songhai. Because, you know, the great empires in West Africa, you had Guinea, you had Ghana, you had Mali, and then you had Songhai. Nkrumah, on the 6th of March 1957, changed the colonial name of Gold Coast to Ghana and focus the attention of Ghanaians on the new entity. Unfortunately, the leadership of Nigeria at independence was not that far-sighted to even recognize that uh, Flora Shaw, the girlfriend of uh, Lord Lugan, uh, could not give us a name because the cognomen of Nigeria uh, is derived from the Latin nigr. Nigr is black. It is from nigr that we got negro. And now, in fact, the racists now call us niggers. So, uh, in fact, it was a derisive name to give us nigger area. And every time I see Nigerian athletes at international athletic meetings and they wear tags saying NGR, it reminds me of nigger. And if even in America where rednecks, racists, are now afraid to use what is called the N-word. You don't say nigger anymore uh, in today's world. And it's still, for me, uh, antithetical uh, to our pride. And uh, as the world's largest concentration of black people to be using that epithet of Nigeria. Some guy has some relationship with uh, Nigeria. Uh, so I thought we could actually start uh, rediscovering Nigeria by changing the name and all the bad things that have been associated with Nigeria. Nigeria is not a name that I'm proud of, uh, which, as I say, does damage and violence to our worth, you know, as Africans. Uh, even those who think that uh, River Niger uh, is the name from which the country uh, took its own description, we'll be shocked to realize that the traditional people did not call that river Niger. They call it Quora. Quora was the name given by the natives to uh, what the uh, people like Mongo Park and the Batin brothers or the Landa brothers suggested. You know, what? when we were in primary school, we were taught that Mongo Park discovered the river Niger. But uh, I tell my own students now that it's River Niger that discovered Mongo Park. So quite sincerely, 54 years after banding the name Niger area, I think the time was right for us to depart from the iniquity of Lord Lugard and his girlfriend and create a new nation for ourselves for the next century as United Republic of Songhai. That is what uh, influenced you know, my suggestion at the CONFAB for a change from the colonial name of Nigeria to an authentic African name, to, really, to bring into life again the ancient West African Songhai Empire. But I'm sure many 
people are not aware. In fact, my own daughter asked me, uh, Daddy, what is Songhai? Because our students no longer read history. They do social science. And quite a number of people, in fact, a newspaper report said I caused this chair <laughs> at the confab by my suggestion. There should be no stare. It's a question of going back to our roots, you know, and trying to identify uh, with one of the great empires uh, of West Africa.